I believe if you remove the goal of winning, you increase your chances of finding your, your highest potential. So when I'm coaching my athletes, I never put out uh, a target. I ask my athletes to show up every day and redefine their potential. And after a year of doing that, they're more capable of things that they, than they ever thought they were capable of. The way I coach now is to encourage my athletes to let go of the outcome, to not focus on winning or not losing, but to just simply be present to the process and, and, and taking care of all of the things they can affect. Their training, how well they row, uh, their sleep, their health, all those things. Those are things they can control. And then showing up on race day and racing your best race. If as a result of that, you beat your competitors and win, terrific. If you don't, and you still exec executed your best race, and you did everything that you could have, there's still something to celebrate in that. I was taught at a very young age that losing was wrong, and that there was nothing to celebrate in losing. Who made that rule? When you put the win out there as the ultimate achievement, then I believe you limit the potential of the athlete. As soon as you draw a line in the sand and tell the athlete, this is how far we need to get, then you've told them when it's good enough. There's no good enough. You're always striving to see what you're capable of. And it's never done in, you know, an archaic kind of, uh, you know, beat them and yell at them and all that kind of stuff. It's always a quiet personal challenge. And so when you put a, a boatload of teenagers together with, with that sort of belief, that's a pretty powerful place.